Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end new and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm thrilled to show you the all-new 2021 Newmar Essex. I appreciate you joining me today on this windy Texas day. Now, we'd die in Texas if we didn't have the wind, but it's not gonna help my video much. So bear with me a little bit if you hear some of that. So check out this beautiful windshield. Is there a better way that you can imagine seeing this country than sitting behind that and looking at this gorgeous countryside as you travel across the, a nation? Um, not only is it the safest way to travel, but you're in your own bed, you're in your own home, your own sheets, your own pillow, all the bonuses to the RV lifestyle. All right, so if you look at the very top of the windshield there, you've got your first of your four cameras that contribute to your 360 camera and that bird's eye view that you'll see at the dash. So I'll kind of point those out as we go around. Another thing I want you to notice that's so pretty about this front cap, you don't see any windshield wipers. Uh, on a coach, they're really big, they kind of stand out. Well, they're tucked in besides this behind this front cap. So not only does it protect them from the sun, um, I think it you know helps them last longer. And then also notice on the windshield how it's mounted just like they mount a automobile windshield. There's not a big gasket and it's just really sleek and looks beautiful. For 2021, they've gone to the Beta Fusion, Fusion protective film across the front cap. So it's made by Diamond Shield. It has a seven year limited warranty on it. Again, we wanna do everything we can to protect our beautiful paint job and our front cap. Look at those beautiful lights. I just love the Essex. I'm so excited to show you this coach. So here in the center of the uh, bottom of the windshield, you're gonna see a rectangle box. That's Mobileye lane detection um, system. So that's gonna, another safety feature that Numar has made standard for the Essex this year. The Essex comes with the chrome exterior mirrors. They are internally controlled and they have defrost or heated. You will we'll also see that they have a camera. So the side view camera is in the convex bottom part of the mirror. So when you turn on your left and right blinker, you're gonna be able to see down the full length of your coach. So this is the 4551 floor plan. I'll show you more about that inside, but a lot of people wanna know what's the length of, length of the coach. So it's actually 44 feet and 10 inches, and the height is 13 feet, four inches. Now, as we go on here, we've got the 365 Michelin tires. So again, that gives you a wider tread, which is gonna give you a nicer, smoother ride. It also has the, Al the Alcoa um, Durabrite rims, so you don't need to polish them, just wash them, and they're gonna be beautiful forever. Now, something that Numar does that I really like, um, there's so many safety features on this coach. We have the um, lane assist, we have the electronic stability control, we have adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, but this is something that I really like that they do. Right behind your front tires is where your fuel line is, and they've got a steel compartment that, can, that protects that fuel line. So I can actually knock on it back there. Anyway, I just like that that's protected in case of a front end blowout, um, I, that is protected. And on that note, I want you to go check out my video on Retroband. It's a product that is sold exclusively by National Indoor RV Centers, and it's a spare within your tire. So basically what it's gonna do in the event of a blowout, it sits above the rim. So your coach isn't gonna have that dramatic drop, and you're actually gonna be able to drive on that Retroband, get you to the side of the road and get you to safety. But I explain all about that in my video, so please go check that out. So you have three ways that you can get to your coach. Obviously the keys, and then you have the key fob, which I like, so you can just lock and unlock the coach here. Then obviously you have the keyless pad here. So you can set your own code so that you can let the grandkids, the service technician in, um, and you don't have to be there if you don't want to. You can also just hold the top button here and it's gonna lock the coach and lock your cargo bays all at once and takes care of everything. And the other thing I really love, I love that Newmark gives you the doorbell. So I always, <laughs> I'm always nervous when I go out to my customers' coaches a little too early in the morning and I'm tapping on them 
you know, I, I'd rather have that doorbell and know that they hear me and anyway, they can either open or not. <laughs> and I also love the cool hand bar that you have when you go to enter the coach. Here we have our 150 gallon diesel fuel tank and it is dual fill. So you can fill it from the passenger side of the coach or the driver's side of the coach, which is great. Then our first docking light, these are super important, especially if you're coming to a campground at night, you wanna watch out for rocks, picnic tables, curbs, you know, all the things that you don't think will be in your way, you just wanna make sure you can see those clearly. Marker light. Then let's go to our first storage bay. So this is where we have our Dometic freezer. This comes standard. It's new for 2021, or new model anyway. It has two separate, completely separate um, compartments. So you can make them both a freezer, both a refrigerator, just depends on how you're gonna use it. If you're having a big tailgating party, you might wanna just have this full of drinks, but it's really nice that you have that option, two separate compartments. And then just push this right back in. Now our next compartment is our pass-through compartment. But lots to, show, uh, to tell you here. So first of all, optional, you can have the pass-through trays or not, or you can have them power or manual. We did the power tray. These will support up to a thousand pounds. And you can see they extend well beyond the door. And then a really nice feature is it's got this lip here. If you've got a heavy tool chest on there or something that you wanna slide off, you just lift that up and then you can slide that right off. And you can do that on both sides. Now, I'm gonna take this back in because we've got something else to talk about that's new for 2021. This is a feature that Numar listened to the customer about. It's this extra shelf. So Numar listened to the feedback from customers and they were adding this shelf a whole lot at the factory when people would come back for a service. So they decided to just make it an option. So it's great because basically what they're doing is the shelf um, goes to the bottom of the chassis rail, if that makes sense. So I brought my little handy dandy um, tape measure here. So it's giving you a space of about a foot, 12 inches here where you can store chairs and it just is going to go right up next to the chassis rail and then from the bottom of this shelf to the bottom of your pass-through tray is about 18 inches so that's going to be 18 inches all the way through because that's to the bottom of the chassis rail so you know what that pass-through height is and our next baggage compartment we have another pass-through tray and again we made that power as well and we gave it the extra shelf. So I'm not gonna extend that all the way. You get the idea, but we do have our um, hoses and attachments for our central vac here. And then if you look just inside here, you can see the splitters for our um, HD satellite and our in motion satellite. We optioned this coach with both. So I can't be outside of this gorgeous coach and not mention the color. So this is the Winchester exterior. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Numar does the most beautiful paint jobs. And this is the masterpiece finish. On the Essex, you get four coats of clear and there's five stages of cut and buff. So when you run your finger down the side of this coach, I absolutely don't feel any transition from one paint color to the next. That's how you know that you have a really quality paint job. All right, so for our next compartment, this is our big um, storage area and we just did the tray. It's not a pass-through, so just pulls out and it's just manual, but it's a nice big storage tray and it's a fairly deep compartment. So without that tray, it'd be hard to get to, but again, that's an option. You can choose to put that in or not. Numar has also given us extra tiles in case there's ever a problem. Um, we've got some extra tiles, which is great. And there's a lot of other things inside this cabinet that I want to talk about. First of all, we have our central vac. Um, this is the filter. This is where we would change that. Then right here, right here is where our four cameras come together to give us that 360 view at the dash inside the coach. So right above us here outside the coach, we have our second camera. I pointed out the first one at the um, windshield. Then we've got the heat controller for our Silverleaf electronics. Um, 
the bedroom slide out control. We've got a 110 outlet here. And you're probably wondering what these three boxes are here. These are your Gerard awnings and your power window awning controls here and two more 110 outlets. Speaking of Gerard awnings, we have the remote control for the Gerard awnings. So you have the light control, you can lock it, unlock it. Um, you can also change the channel. So if you wanna bring out just the front awning, you'd put it to one. If you wanna bring out the second awning, that, or if you wanna bring them both out together, you're gonna take it to zero and hit out. Then I can just go ahead and hit the light and my LED lights on my awnings come on and on the entry door awning. So very easy. And then when I wanna bring them all back in, I just hit the end button. The Essex comes with bigger windows. You'll be able to see that really more so when you're inside the coach and on the other side, because they're really big, more like the King Air windows. Um, one of the things that we optioned in on this coach was the kitchen window. So that's what you see right here. Again, it gives you a great view up in the campground, kind of bringing the outdoors in again. We also have the dual paned, frameless, tinted windows throughout the coach. And then I want you to just take Pay attention to the slide topper. It's a Gerard slide topper, so best in the industry. And Numar mounts the slide topper to the wall of the coach. The slide topper comes out, there's bristles that kind of clean off the top of your um, slide topper cover as it goes out and when it comes back in. But by mounting that to the wall of the coach, it keeps that awning nice and taut. So you're not gonna have any sag where water sits and molds and gets yucky. We have the passenger side security light. Now you can turn that on at the dash, just in the, on the, in the cabinet above the captain's seat, or you can also do that in the bedroom. It's on the light panel that is just under the cabinets um, that you look at when you're laying in bed. So in the 4551, you're not able to put the exterior TV on the sidewall, so you do it in the cabinet underneath here. So we have the 43 inch Samsung TV, you can pull it out and direct it to wherever your guests are. We also have the Bose speaker sound bar here. We have the two 110 outlets and the two USB ports here. We've got LED lighting this year in 2020. Now, I know that I'm crouched under here, but this is really, the TV is in a great spot when you're sitting in your lawn chairs. Very easy to view, it's at eye level, so you're gonna love it. All right, we've got our marker light and our docking light. We've got our 315 Michelin tires here on the back and our passive steer tag axle with a tighter turning radius. I believe they said it was 19, 17 degree turning radius at Neymar. If you look up above, you're gonna see a window and a door. I love the way they just kind of blend that into the exterior. That's your emergency egress door. Most manufacturers do not give you that. I love it that Numar does, again, another safety feature. So I'll demonstrate that from the inside. You can open it, no door handle on the outside. Open it, you have a telescoping ladder that comes down, very easy to use and operate. Then we've got our 15 gallon DEF here. DEF is diesel exhaust fluid and it does have a shelf life. You um, wanna make sure you always have that. If you have bad DEF, or if it's gotten old and gummy, if you've had it in there too long. Typically, it will make it about a year, but if you know you're gonna be sitting in a campground for several months at a time, you may not wanna fill it. But if you have bed def, you're gonna throw some weird engine codes, so you don't wanna mess with that. And you can buy def at Walmart. It has an expiration on it. Keep it in your coach. It's, it's no biggie. But you also have fills on both sides, passenger and driver's side, so you're not gonna have a problem when you're filling up with fuel to also fill up your def. So if you look just above the DEF here, we've got the emergency suspension fill. This is where you can manually fill your airbags if for some reason you're having a problem with the coach doing that automatically. So it's great that Spartan gives you that backup. Then if you look just to the right of that, and if you pull this, this should be part of your pre-trip um, checklist. You're just gonna bleed off any um, moisture out of your air tanks for your brakes and your suspension. All right, we have our marker light, and then we have our chassis batteries. Now, I love, these are super easy to get to, very easy to maintain or replace, not a problem. Also, you have your 
um, power management system, your Spartan power management system. These are basically the fu uh, fuses for the rear end of the coach. If you have a tail light that's out, um, the fuse for that is in the, inside this box here. Then we've got our cutoff switches for our batteries. So if we're not lucky enough to have you as a storage customer at National Indoor RV Centers where you're always plugged into 50 amp service and we have storage at all of our locations, um, then you would want to make sure you turn those off so that you have no parasitic draw on your batteries while it's in storage. Then we've got our air dryer. This does need to be changed once a year and our engine oil filter. All right, so check out the back cap of this Essex. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, probably one of my favorites. I just think it looks beautiful. You can see in the center of the cap here, that's the third of our um, cameras that contribute to that 360 bird's eye view inside the coach. I like how, love how they have Essex across the back, really cool tail lights, um, just a gorgeous coach. Now the Essex, again, sits on the Spartan K3 chassis. It has the Cummins turbocharged diesel engine. Um, 605 horsepower and 1950 pound-foot of torque. So what does that mean? Basically your horsepower is what gets you to speed uh, as you're going up the mountain. Your torque is what keeps you there. So 1950 pound-foot of torque is huge. Now this hitch you can tow up to 20,000 pounds. So that means you can have your stacker trailer with your Jeep and your fancy sports car and you're gonna be able to tow that, even a couple of uh, jet skis. You're not gonna have a problem with towing anything with this coach. And if you look down below here, we've got our uh, Spartan safe hall. So you can just plug your airline for your brakes into that. And then you've got the seven way for your lights for your tow vehicle. And then also check out the beautiful Numar mud flap and our engine exhaust. So I'm sure you're anxious to see this beautiful engine compartment. You just gonna pull down here and release that engine cover and let's talk about what's inside here so the first thing that we come to is going to be our coolant this is something that you're going to check before every trip again i've got my checklist you can email me at angie at nirvc.com if you'd like a copy of my pre-trip checklist you always want to check that bulb and make sure that it's fully red with fluid there we've got the quick connect here for an airline we can fill up um, baseball, footballs, pool toys, whatever. But also you can make this, you know, you, your engine is a huge compressor. You can actually fill your tires if you need to. You can have enough PSI that you can fill your tires. And I walk you through that process in my RVN 101 series um, part two. So if you want to see how that's done, um, check that out. Then we've got our hydraulic oil for our power steering. Here we have our engine oil dipstick. So long little dipstick there. And our engine oil fill, that's where we would fill that. Coming across here, we've got our uh, block heater for our engine. So if you're up north and it's super cold and you wanna warm up that engine before you head out, this is where you can come and plug it in and turn it on inside the coach. So we have our second fuel filter for the engine. And then we've got our uh, coolant for our ASUS Hydronic Heating Module. This is where we would check and fill our transmission fluid. This is our engine air minder. So you want, for your air filter on your engine, you wanna make sure you change that once a year. And then this is our air cleaner for our engine. So what happens is the air comes in through this vented area up here on the side of the coach, comes down through here, goes through the air, engine air, cleaner and then into the engine. All right, as I come around the driver's side, I wanna point out the marker light and then we've got our side radiator. So there's some important things with having a side radiator. First of all, you've got full access to your engine compartment for servicing, which makes it a lot easier. All that stuff isn't um, behind the radiator. And you've got ambient air coming into the radiator. So it's cleaner, it's not being brought up from you know, underneath the coach, hot, dirty, with all that debris in it. So it's gonna make your radiator fan work. It's not gonna have to work as hard, so therefore you're gonna have more horsepower. One of the things that you wanna do just for radiator maintenance is to occasionally take your garden hose, just put your thumb over and gently spray off the radiator to keep it working efficiently. All right, so you're probably wondering the vent is right here. That is your dryer vent. So down, coming straight from the dry dryer vent, 
we've got our DEF fill for the driver's side of the coach. And then behind this little compartment, we have an extra spot for our stinky slinky or sewer hose. So if you wanna carry an extra sewer hose, we did option this coach in with the macerator and it comes with its hose. But if you wanna have one for a gravity dump, you can keep that in there and keep your um, wet bay nice and clean. Speaking of wet bays, I'm excited to show you what they've added for this year. But before we get there, we've got another docking light, our marker light, and this is the exhaust for our Oasis hydronic heating module. So they've redesigned the wet bay this year for the Essex, and I think it's beautiful. Look at that nice stainless steel backing. Everything's really nicely labeled. So I'll just start from this side and go around. We've got a new shower, stainless steel shower, hot and cold. And I love the new shower head and the hose. It's a lot easier to move. So this is great to have, especially if you're at the beach, you wanna wash off all that sand before you go back into your gorgeous coach. I like this, or if you've got free friends you need to wash, um, this is where you can do that. So I love that feature. Then we've got the water filter for the house, for the coach. And we've got our um, low and our, our hot low point drain and our cold low point drain. And those are color coded just to make it all that much easier for you. So if you have to winterize your coach, one of those things you don't have to worry about if you store with us at National Indoor RV Centers, um, which is great because winterizing, there's the instructions actually right here how to do that. But if you store with us at National Indoor RV Centers, you don't need to winterize, which is wonderful because you can basically use your coach year round. You don't have to worry about winterizing and de-winterizing. So just something to think about. Then we've got the pump and the fill. We've got our fresh tank and our fresh water tank for the Essex is 105 gallons. The gray tank is 80 gallons and the black tank is 60 gallons. Then we have our fresh water um, fill. So depending on how we turn that, we're either on auto tank fill, or auto city supply, city supply, or manual tank override here. So you can direct that. Then we have our gray tank rinse, and we have our black tank rinse. And again, when you hear that word rinse, I don't want you to think that you've got a big sprayer in there rinsing out your tank. Um, it's just basically pushing some water through to help push the you know, all the debris through. Um, one of the things that I want you to think about using is a microblaze. I talk about this in my RVing 101 series, so check that out there. Again, we have levers here for our black tank rinse and our gray tank rinse. And then we have a water tap here, so we can hook up right here to the water tap, which is nice. Then we have the mana block system. So now, if I need to work in my shower, I can turn off the water just to the shower and still have water to the rest of the coach, which I really like. Obviously right here, we've got a um, paper towel holder here, which is really nice. And then we've got our water wheel, and that is on an electric line, so you just pull that right back in. Now this is our Thetford SantaCon system. This is an option. We did put it on this coach. So you're just gonna thread this through here and hook it in. Now the nice thing they've given us this little blocking plastic so that we are not gonna have any critters come into our coach, which I love. We also have that for the water hose as well. The rubber there is just gonna keep that nice and sealed when we shut the door. So you also can do a gravity dump if you need to here. So you can connect your um, clear el elbow here and then connect your sewer hose and you can dump there. So I always recommend that you dump your black tank first and then your gray tank so it kind of washes those out. And um, you could again see that. And this is gonna be the T-valve for you to be able to do a gravity dump. And this will be your filter for your refrigerator. That water is filtered again. So I like that option, extra filter on your refrigerator water. All right. Here is our 50 amp shore power cord. And again, that's gonna be thread through the rubber seal there. Keep your um, coach without critters in it. And the nice thing about that is on an electric reel. So I usually use a paper towel and kind of wipe that hose off as it comes in, um, the cord off as it comes in. We've got our sur surge guard automatic transfer switch in here. I recommend, um, obviously you're gonna have it in the coach, 
um, but I recommend having one at the pole or having one installed, the second one installed at National Indoor RV Centers because that's good for one um, surge. <laughs> if it happens, again, you know, you just want to protect your coach. It's like extra insurance, can't, can't be bad. Um, we also have the input here for cable and then we can start and stop our generator. New for this year, they've given us LED lighting in this compartment, so it's really easy to see in here, which is very nice. Here we have our Oasis hydronic heating module. This is what's gonna provide you your on-demand hot water, so you're never gonna have a cold shower. Um, and then you're also gonna use this for your furnace when you drop below 40 degrees. All right, here is our pass-through compartment. Again, this is powered. We'll support up to a thousand pounds. Full extension. Makes loading and unloading your coach really easy. There's the driver's side security light. Now you can turn that on again at the dash, just it's above the captain's chair. And then in your bedroom, when you're laying down, you can see it on the light panel there. I like that because if you're laying in bed, you hear a noise outside, you can go ahead and flick those security lights on your passenger side and your driver's side, which just gives you, you know, may scare something or someone away. All right, we have our second power pass-through tray. So again, I won't extend it all the way because you get the idea. And then if you just peek inside of this compartment, we have our charge load controller for our solar panels. So solar panels are an option for this coach. We went ahead and put them on. So you've got four 100 watt solar panels on this SS. So I wanted to point out the Star Foundation. That is Newmar's strong, true, and robust foundation. So they reinforce their coach with Star Foundation. So as you're going down the road, the twisting and torquing is absorbed by the chassis, not by the house. All right, super important compartment here because it is our house batteries. And you'll, you'll notice as I open this door, it drops. It's called a slipper hinge. So Numar has a slipper hinge so that when the slide's extended, you can still open the door easily and get to your batteries. You just pull out these pins here. And you've got your eight AGM batteries. That means that you do they're maintenance free, good for about five to six years. Um, and really, you don't need to worry about ever changing them because when it's time to change them, just call me. We'll get you a new coach. <laughs> All right, we have our marker light, docking light, and fuel fill for the driver's side of the coach. So we move forward here. We're gonna have the exhaust. That's gonna be for our 12.5 watt Onan generator. And we've got our power center for the front of the coach. All these fuses are gonna be for the front of the chassis. And um, what I love, again, Numar's given us the spare fuses so that if you need to replace one, you've got them right here. They've also given us a little window washer thingy. <laughs> so that's really nice because it's really important when you get to a campground that you wash off your front um, cap so that any bugs that are left there aren't gonna try to eat through that um, diamond shield. You just wanna protect that paint um, the best you can. So you've got that hot water line to your generator that I'm gonna show you in a second. You can hook up your hose, hot water, wash off your windshield and your front cap. So to extend the front cap and pull out the generator, you've got a button right inside here. You just need to have your coach aired up and in accessory mode. All right, so let's talk about what's inside here. First of all, we have our wussy horn. Talked about, you always wanna have your big air horns on and they are right here. Then to the side of that, here is that hot water line to the generator that I was telling you about. So you can just hook up your hose or to the generator area. So you just hook up your hose here to wash off your windshield and your front cap. Then we have a quick connect airline here again. You can air up toys, whatever, but you also can air up your tires if you need to. And I show you how to do that. This is the uh, oil fuel oil filter for your Oasis 
hydronic heating module. So that's what that is right here. So here's our fuel oil filter for the Oasis um, hydronic heating module. And just below that, we have our windshield wiper fluid. Then of course, we've got our Onan generator. This is a 12,500 watt generator. This is the coolant for our generator. That's where we would fill it. This is the breaker. If you happen to pop up a breaker because you're, you know, you've overloaded the system inside, this is where you would come and reset it on the generator. You can also start your generator and stop it from here. This is where it's gonna tell you the generator hours. So you wanna make sure that you service your um, generator every 150 hours. And then behind this cover, you have the oil for your generator and the dipstick for to check your oil on the generator. Over here, we have the hydraulic system and reservoir for our HWH um, steps and our HWH full wall slide and for our hydraulic jacks. As I head in the Essex, one of the coolest features are these hydraulic HWH steps. So at any point, they have sensors on the front and on the bottom. So just like you saw me hitting my leg against them, they stopped, but they'll come out further. They almost come to the ground, but if there's a curb, they're gonna touch that and stop. It's a great feature because you're not gonna have to haul yourself up into a coach. A lot of times their steps are really high and when your coach is at ride height, they're even higher. So this is a huge feature. I've had, actually had people buy up a brand just so they can get these HWH steps. All right, so as I go inside, wanna notice again the nice grab bar here, nice grab bar inside. And then right inside the door, I've got my battery disconnect. So I can hit that as I'm coming in, turn it on, or when I'm leaving my coach, I can hit it off. And then I've got the cargo bay lock and unlock, and I've got my step well lighting. So you can see as I hit that on, it's just gonna illuminate this area here so I can safely enter my coach. And then right at, underneath that, we have our fire ex extinguisher. So you can get to that easily from inside the coach or outside the coach. As I come up into the Essex, I love that we have these great sturdy grab bars, both right next to the passenger's chair and then right here in the stairwell. So just another safety feature. You're not gonna have a problem getting in or out of this coach. Then, welcome to the inside. This is my favorite part. So this has the beautiful um, ginger glazed cherry cabinets with the high gloss on them. So you're gonna notice these beautiful cabinetry throughout. We're in the Winchester interior, so I'll talk a little bit more about that um, as we go into the living room. But right now, I just wanna talk about our storage area that we have here in the front of the coach. So we've got our smoke detector. Hope that we never need that, but we've got that for safety. And then we've got storage compartment. Notice that those are all lit, which is really nice. And then we've got our Wi-Fi Sky Pro LTE uh, cellular router. So that's an, that's an optional item, but basically what that does, it you can add a card to your cell plan and you can make this a hotspot. So basically you have Wi-Fi in your coach just like you would at your home. You have your own personal hotspot. So we like that option. We typically add that. And then we've got more storage here. We have this beautiful 43 inch Samsung TV. They've changed models this year for 2021. And we have an upgraded JBL sound system in the cockpit area. Then we've got our cabinet here. Now this one's a doozy. <laughs> it has all of our important stuff in here. So on the S6, we've also optioned in the in-motion satellite and the HD satellite. So it has two. That's an option. You can go with one or the other with none. And we just, you know, figured this, since it's a luxury coach, we wanted to have both. So this is our WineGuard Travelers HD satellite. Then we go down here, another option that we've added to the Essex is the solar panels. So this has four 100 watt solar panels. This is the uh, deluxe three-stage charger panel. So basically you have three different modes. You have bulk, absorption, and float. So the solar panels, when you are in a campground, fully exposed to the sunlight, will help maintain your batteries. Now, just like word to the wise, if you are storing your coach outside, we're not lucky enough to have you here at National Indoor RV Centers, then you want to make sure when you're storing it that First of all, you're in a spot where you're gonna get all that sunlight to the solar panels. 
then you want to make sure you turn off all your batteries now if you happen to be storing your coach outside just remember that you are having that damage from the sun you might want to consider storing your coach at national and rv centers where you're always plugged into 50 amp service and you don't have to worry about those batteries at all then we have our over the air antenna so you just turn that on and hit search and even inside the building here at national and rv centers it's found 50 um, stations that it can attach to. Then we have a control panel here for our Gerard awnings. We can turn the lights on, we can lock it or unlock it. We can change the channels. So if you want to bring out the front awning, you'd go to one, back on into two. If you want to bring them out together, you go to zero, just in and out, stop. So super easy to use. Then we've got our satellite system button. So on the Essex, I mentioned that we have both the in-motion and the high-def satellite. To activate the in-motion satellite, you would hit this button here. Now let's go down across here. We've got our driver security lights here, our passenger security lights. So those are in the middle of the coach on either side of the coach. Our driver privacy drape, which is to the left of the driver. The front privacy drape, which is the whole front drape the door privacy drape, the passenger privacy drape, then we have the driver's side window awning and the passenger side window awning. So those are huge because those are powered with that uh, Gerard awning window package. Love that they're powered. So these are the controls for your slide outs. First of all, you wanna make sure that your seats are forward so that those slide rooms don't uh, hit your captain's chairs when they're coming in and out. So you're gonna driver's slide out, this is for your big um, full wall slide, the, the hydraulic slide. Then we have our passenger slide, slide out, our exterior LED lights. So those will illuminate the lighting underneath your slide rooms, which makes it look really nice in the campground at night, plus helps you see what's in your storage bay. This is gonna be your exterior entry step. You wanna turn that off once you're at a campground because you don't want those hydraulic steps going in and out every time you open up your door. And then this is where you turn on your Wi-Fi router on and off. And this is your port that the technicians can um, plug into and then communicate with the Silver Leaf system. All right, so this is the all new display for our Silver Leaf system, which is huge. This been a, has been a long time coming, so it looks much more um, up to date and current. This is our home screen, so it's gonna give us the levels of our tanks, our freshwater tank, black water tank, and gray tank. Also it's gonna give us a reading on our house batteries and our chassis batteries. And uh, we're, right now we are plugged into shore power. It's letting us know and it's showing us the amps on each leg. This is our AC power. Again, it's showing us that we're pulling 11 amps on leg one, nothing on leg two. And our Mark Max charger draw is 30 amp and our inverter is in standby mode because we are plugged in right now. Okay, so this is showing that our Max charger draw is 30 amp right now. You can adjust that by going to load shed. So say we're here at capacity, we're at single phase. So that means we're plugged into 30 amp power and I want to run an AC. So right now, all 30 amps are going to charge my batteries or they're in a bulk charge um, state. So I want to go ahead and take that down to like 10 or five. That's all that I want going to my battery. The rest I want to use to run an AC. Uh, now, if I'm in dual phase, so I'm plugged into 50 amp service. I've got 50 amps coming in on each leg. Again, I want to be able to, I don't want all those 50 amps going to charge my batteries. I want to run my all three AC units. So I'm going to take it down to 20, 25. That way I can run two AC units off one leg and one AC unit off the other leg. And then we've got our capacity for our generator and that's always at 50 amps when you're on the generator. All right, so our inverter. So we have a 3000 watt pure sign inverter. It's in standby mode be because we are plugged in right now. But an inverter does three things. It converts AC to DC, DC to AC, and it charges batteries as needed. So it passes current through and charges the batteries as needed. All right, then we can go to DC power. So you can see that we're in absorb mode right now because our batteries are almost charged and we have the generator here. So this is where we can start and stop our generator and we can clear the locks. There's locks in the setting of the auto gen start. So I'm gonna go to auto gen start. This is where I could change some of those settings if I needed to, but right now it's enabled, so it's on. It, it will turn on, it will work. 
What will trigger it is if my batteries get below 11.8 volts, they'll top off the voltage when it gets, or it will stop when it gets to 12.5, and the top off run time, it will run at least a minimum of 45 minutes. Then I can set my quiet time, so I started that at 8.30 p.m. until, and I want it to end at 8 a.m. Then we have our chassis battery, battery auto charger. It's disabled right now, but we can change that and enable it. If it gets below 12.3, it's going to charge. Um, bridge connecting time is gonna be a minimum of 60 minutes with a maximum run time of four hours. And then you can set it to exercise um, your generator if you need to do that, and you can set the time and when you wanna schedule that for. Water, this is where again, I can see my tank levels here. I can turn my water pump on or off and I can do the auto fill on and ready and I can do on or off and top off now. Climate control, so I can control all zones from here or I can go to the living room, the kitchen, the bath, the bed. I'm gonna go back to all and then I can set the cool, auto and heat my daytime temperature, nighttime temperature. When I hit away, it will turn everything off. When I return, it will return back to the settings that I had it on. And then I can turn my um, engine block heater on here if it's plugged in in the back. And this is for my floor heat. So again, I've got three zones, the front, the rear, and the mid, and I can turn those on and set the levels right here. This is gonna control the brightness of my screen. And then this is gonna be configuring some of your system components, network diagnostic, monitor diagnostics, tank configuration, and you can view your AC power history. Custom monitor, monitor configuration, climate screen configuration, view logo, view clock. And you can test your touch screen here or reboot the system. All right, then we've got another little storage compartment here. It's actually pretty deep, great place to put books or manuals, stuff like that. That's what I'd probably use it for. And then we've got two more storage compartments here. So if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that the interior is my favorite part. These are the ginger glazed cherry cabinets with the high gloss. You can get them in matte or high gloss. I think both are gorgeous. I kind of vary them depending on what I do with the floor um, or with the interior. So this is the Winchester interior, just gorgeous. There are three other packages that you can choose from. They come with optional floors that look like this beautiful porcelain gloss wood floor. There's kind of four different colors and I'll show you those in just a little bit. But you've got great options. You can also special in some options if there's something that you don't particularly care for. Um, at National Indoor RV Centers, we are happy to help you with that. In fact, I love to help customers um, do some specials in their coach to make it uniquely theirs. So make sure you come and um, give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. Another thing about the wood that I wanna talk about, I know I keep going on about this. First of all, the craftsmanship is um, a match. It's just beautiful. And then in the Essex and the King Air, you have unitized construction, which means you'll never see where two pieces of wood come together. So it's just that extra attention to detail, the extra cost they put into the Essex and the King Air, which makes it just gorgeous. And then you have the be beautiful burled wood here um, in the pillars. So they just do a great job of finishing this out. The Essex comes standard with villa furniture, so it's high quality, ultra leather, captain's chairs, and furniture throughout um, the coach. Now I've turned around my captain and co-captain's chairs, so you can see that we've got those two chairs that we recline, and then we optioned in the two recliners here. So we can, you know, hang out in the captain's chair, you can recline, kick your feet back, so really in the 4551, which is this floor plan, with the two recliners, you really have four recliners plus the sofa. And then you've got your chairs from your dinette. So you have a lot of seating area here. Um, you can entertain a lot of guests in this floor plan. Then let me just kind of show you about the recliners here. They are super comfortable. You've got a lever here to your side, and then you just push forward until you get to where it's comfortable. Very nice. And then I wanna go over 
this panel that I've got right here. So I wanted to go over the panel and the functions on this. You're gonna see these panels throughout the coach. So we've got one when we first walk in the door to, I'll go to that next where you can kind of turn all your lights on and all your lights off. This is gonna be the lighting for this journal area. So our dinette lights, overhead lights, our reading lights, which are just above me, to the left and the right, and our wall lights, and our accent lights. And you can adjust those. So if you don't want it quite so bright, you can adjust the le level, and then it's gonna stay at that level until you take it to all the way on. So if I go back to wall lights, it's still at that same dimness until I hit it on, and then it will go all the way bright. So, and then I just go back to my home button here, shades. That's gonna control the day and the night shades in this area, and you can just read through the panel. Fans, so we have three um, max fans basically, so one in the kitchen, one in the half bath, one in the master bath, and you can control those from here. And you'll see a lot of these similar buttons, the fans on other um, displays. Now this one I can turn on my water pump, I can start the generator, start and stop it. This is the TV lift, so I'm just gonna hit the button here, and voila, here comes my big 50 inch Samsung TV. I love how smooth Numar's TV lift is. You can have that up while you're going down the road too. So if you've got kids that are wanting to sit in the recliners and play you know, Xbox or whatever while you're traveling, that's not a problem. TV can be up or down, whatever you prefer. One of my favorite buttons on this panel is the theater mode. So when I hit that, it's going to bring down all your shades in your living room and in the cockpit area, it's gonna turn off all of your lights and turn on your accent lights, and it's gonna bring up the TV. So I just think that's pretty cool. Kind of a nice way to even just like make a nice cozy atmosphere at night when you're ready to kind of wind down, even if you're not gonna, you know, watch the movies. I like this, this feel that it gives the coach. And then you can go to the monitor panel and that's gonna give you your levels on your house and chassis batteries, um, what kind of power you're plugged into, and it's gonna give you a readout on your fresh gray and black tanks. So it's kinda of nice to have that information just right handy when you're sitting down relaxing for the day. And then we have display brightness, so I can adjust that. I can turn it off completely so it doesn't keep me up at night. And then I'm gonna go back and just make sure it's as bright as it can be for me. So another thing was we behind each recliner, you've got two 110 outlets and two USB charging ports. And then we have our nice solid surface end table. Great place to put your drinks. I always like that. And a little surprise drink holder in the drawer. Gotta love that, they're backlit. And all the drawers are soft close. So no slamming of drawers. And then we have this really deep drawer here. So you can put in magazines or books. Um, DVDs, your remotes, whatever you want. I just love that we have that space. So just a couple more things about the recliner option because I get asked this all the time. These are not attached to the floor. So you can scoot them out if you've got someone a little bit taller and want to be able to recline further. You can scoot them out. You can turn them to the side. Um, when you bring in your slides, it will give you a little bit more space. So some people prefer the recliners. Others prefer the theater seating or a sofa. So the great thing about Numar is, Numar is that you get to choose. Now, another thing that you get to choose is these big windows. Now, first of all, the windows are bigger for 2021, more like the size of the windows that you get in the King Air. So that's just wonderful. When you're outside and in a park, or you, know, you just feel like you're almost bringing the outside in, which I love. Now, some people need more space, so you can option in overhead cabinets here if you want. We wanted to have the beautiful views that we'll show you later when we're out driving, um, but that is an option if you want to. All right, so let's head over to the passenger side and go over a few things. First of all, we have another um, control panel for our lighting, and this is gonna control the, now this one is a little bit different because it is, you can come into the coach, hit all lights on, and it's gonna give you runway lights, basically. Not gonna turn every light on, um, but it will turn most of them, kind of give you a, run, a runway through the coach. Then you can go all lights off. It will turn off all your lights. I love that button because I don't know how many times you've had to run through your coach trying to find every little switch. This does it all for you right there. Then 
You've got your shades, your fans, your systems. Again, you're gonna have that water pump, generator start and stop, TV lift up and down in your theater, theater mode, and your monitor panel. Gonna be the same as we just saw. And your brightness, so that's pretty, pretty much the same. Now right next to it, this is your first thermistor for the coach. I'll point those out as we go along. A lot of people ask me what those little buttons are. The thermistor is what communicates to the thermostat to keep the temperature in here nice and pleasant. So you're probably wondering, this coach does have three AC units on here with heat pumps. And then once you go below 40 degrees, you're gonna be using your Oasis um, furnace to heat the coach. Also comes with heated floors and there's different zones and the heated floors are very consistent. Um, they're like, uh, square electronic panels below the tile so it's it heats very evenly and it's really comfortable you'll love that even in your master bathroom where you have your engine cover this year in 2021 that's heated as well so if you have to service the engine for some reason or go into that cover you just unplug the heated floors and then plug them back in when you're done servicing the engine um, compartment there below that we've got another um, two one 10 outlets and two USB charging ports. And if you look just around the corner, we've got two more one 10 outlets and USB charging ports. And then we've got our little end table with storage. It's always nice to have these little end tables for drinks. Um, I just like that. Then you've got the sofa and this has a fold out bed. I'll show that to you in a second. Note the beautiful lighting that you get in the Essex and the residential hardware, nice big storage cabinet here. They've also upgraded the uh, Bose soundbar to the 700 series for 2021. Here's our AV cabinet, basically. We've got our Sony Blu-ray DVD player, and then we've got an outlet in the back here. We have our inputs for satellite, and we've got our AB switch for our, our in motion to our HD satellite. One more really nice size storage cabinet. And then just below you see that we have another 110, two 110 outlets and USB charging ports. Now I'll go ahead and show you how easy it is to pull out the bed. If you've got guests and you wanna have them stay the night, you can easily just take the backs off here. Then you're just going to lift up from below. You'll find this tab here. It'll help you pull that up and out. This becomes your base for your air mattress. There you go. Then we're just gonna unclip. So just unfold it so the air can go in evenly. And then we just, made this really easy for you. Little spot for your cord. You're gonna take that and just plug it in. And then you're just gonna hit the arrow up to start filling. Now you can go and work on those cookies for your guests. <laughs> That's what I'd be doing. I'm making some cookies for the party. While the bed airs up, here we go. All right, probably in less than three minutes, bed's up and ready to be slept on, which is great. And then when you're done in the morning, you wanna uh, take the air out of the mattress. It's just super easy. You just switch that button down the other direction and it starts sucking the air out. All right, so it's all done. Just gonna fold it back and lift the bed. My little tab here, fold it in. So it's a one person job. I mean, it's always nice if you have help, but you can do it by yourself, which I like. Notice the beautiful ceiling treatments that you get with the Essex. Now, one of the things that Numar does is that their air vents for airflow are all in the center of the coach. So when your slides come in, you still have full access to all those 
to the air. So you're gonna be able to cool it easier and you're gonna be able to keep it warm easier. And then you've got great insulation in the Newmark coach as well. So it's gonna keep it cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Now I'm sure you're wondering how you change the filters on those air vents. So it's really easy. You just have to be really tall, but there's a little clip on either side and you just get that clip and then they've got some safety straps here so that you just need to get probably i would need a little ladder but those just pull straight out and then you can clean the filter put it back in and then this just pops back up all right i want you to take in this beautiful kitchen first of all lots of counter space which is huge one of the things i want you to check out is my rv 101 series part two where I hit the road. I do some cooking in the kitchen. I also show you what I use um, to like stick down my coffee pot or my toaster so that I can keep a few things that I want out on the counter and some decorative items without those moving. So we actually use them here at National and our RV Center and you can get that product from that video. So check that out. Um, now we've got lots of storage in here. I love that we have the adjustable shelf here. And we've got a little spice cabinet area above the convection microwave oven. Don't be afraid of these. I have customers that make me beautiful loaves of breads and cookies and pies. Donna McBroom, you're in trouble. Netty. Um, <laughs> but they, they cook in these convection ovens just like they do their oven at home and it's delicious. We've got this big storage area here with the pull out tray. That's really nice. You can get to everything in the back and that's also an adjustable shelf. So if you want that extra height, you can go ahead and take that out and um, slot that in. More shelves here and adjustable as well again. Then again, check out that countertop. You're going to have plenty of outlets too for all your appliances. You've got, you've got three underneath your overhead cabinet. So you're not going to have a problem. Also, while I've got you down here, check out that huge kitchen window. So again, it will be prettier to show off when I'm outside um, the beautiful spring of Texas here, but um, that's an option as well. So we put that in. Notice by the window, the beautiful backsplash that you get in the Essex. Again, that's something we can special. If you don't care for that backsplash, come to National Indoor RV Centers and we'll help you find one that you love. So then we have the beautiful salt surface countertop. We have our induction cooktop here. And same as years past, if you want to cook bacon or salmon, something that's gonna make your coach smell, but you love to cook, you can go ahead and take that right out, unplug it, take it outside and cook those items on the picnic table outside and keep that smell out of your coach if that's something that bothers you. It's a recess, so you can wipe all around there and then put the covers back on. We have our little Numar logo sink in the Essex. So stainless steel, one bowl. The other thing I've liked that they've given us here in the 4551 is a spot for those sink covers. So when I'm not using them, I can just slide them into their little spot right there. And they're not going to move around. They're not going to rattle because they fit there nice and snug. Also, the stainless steel garbage can. Love that I can tuck that garbage can away, push it underneath. And then I've still got more storage for cleaning goods, pots and pans, whatever underneath. And another pull-out tray. And I've got the flip down here. And a couple little more spots that kind of funny spaces, but I know I'll find something that fits in those, especially right here. Again, in that RV 101 series, part one, some of my customers show us how they store their goods and their coaches, give you some tips and tricks. So something you might want to check out. I think this might be a great little spot for like spices, label the spices on the lid, and then you just pull them out here. Another little spot for more spices there, or, you know, whatever you want to make it um, work for you. But just an idea and then I kind of bypassed here this the drawers and storage so we've got three full extension drawers and surprise surprise extra counter space how cool is that 
there's a little button right there that you push so you can extend that and have that extra space. Then we've got three drawers. Again, with the soft close feature. And we have our big drawer. Right now we've got that loaded with remotes. <laughs> You'll probably put utensils in there, cooking utensils. Um, and then we have our dishwasher. So a lot of people are like, how do I get that open? Because there's no controls. So a little trick, you just knock on it to kind of wake up the computer. And voila, there you go. All right, so now to the dining room. Now this is the optional combination dust dinette. This is a very popular setup for the dining area. I have people that either are combo desk dinette or they're booth people, and they usually don't switch, <laughs> unless I can really convince them to. No, I'm kidding. Um, anyway, this is popular because you get the nice buffet here in the back. You have lots of room for um, storage, or you can put pictures up there, or if you're working from your coach, this is a great place um, to have like your office goods. So you've got over here, this can be a filing cabinet drawer, another big drawer. So three nice size drawers here. And then below the table, you're gonna have big cabinet there with an adjustable shelf. And now this is nice too. You've got the drop down here so you can put a cord through and you're going to have an outlet below here, pull out tray. So if you want to use this for a computer or a printer, makes that really easy to get to. And then a drop down and another pull out. So it gives you some options of how you want to use your dining room. Also, you're going to have the table, which extends. So you're going to pull that out. And then you're going to bring in your folding chairs. So Numar listened for years. National RV, um, National Indoor RV Centers, we've been optioning in leather on our folding chairs because it just makes them so much more durable. You don't have to worry about fabric getting dirty. You can take them outside the coach or use them inside the coach. So now that's standard. They've made those folding chairs the same leather that you have on your couch, your recliners. And there you have dinner for four. So I love the refrigerator that you get in the Essex. You've got the wood on the front, so it just goes along with the rest of the coach. Looks really pretty. Nice big residential refrigerator. And you've got water in the door. Love that, so you've got that extra filtered water in the door. All your water coming into the coach is filtered, but then you get an extra filter on your refrigerator. And you've got the ice maker in the freezer. Now, another most important thing that you need to remember when you're getting ready to leave for a trip. Remember, you need to look at that checklist. I've got a checklist. You can email me at angie at nirvc.com if you'd like to see my pre-trip checklist. And you want to make sure that you lock your refrigerator freezer because I'm telling you, you don't want this gorgeous floor um, lined with cracked eggshells and ketchup. Um, anyway, just something you always want to remember. And it only usually takes like one time forgetting and you'll never forget again. Then we've got the pantry. Now new for 2021 is we've got the locking um, pantry shelves. So you just push to release and then full extension. And then when you push them in, push them into lock. Push to release and then they lock in place so that way we don't have to have a lock on the actual pantry door. And you've got, you can adjust those shelves. It's a lit, huge pantry, gotta love it. And then before we go into the bathroom, I just want you to notice we have our second thermistor for the coach. And then I also love the handles that they have for your bathroom door. Now this is the pivot door and you'll see when I bring the slides in, I'm gonna show you the coach with the slides um, retracted and you can see how big your path is through the coach. You can always get to your half bath. You can always get to your bed if you need to sleep um, in the bed without the slides being extended. Then this is never going to ho hook your um, jean 
uh, belt loop. <laughs> it's happened to me. Ripped them right off. So inside here we have our dustpan. So you just lift that up, sweep everything in there, and it's magic. It all goes away. If you have a little bit more around the coach that you want to get to, you've got your central back attachment right there. And the hose will reach to the front and the rear of the coach. Then we've got storage here, a little place for toilet paper, whatever we need in here. Drawer. We've got the button controls for our Dometic toilet. And we have a great little cabinet here where you can hang your toilet paper uh, roll and extra space below the sink. Look at all that counter space that we get in the half bath with the integrated sink, beautiful residential faucets, and new for 2021 is the light in this mirror. Oh, I love it. I think it's so pretty. Plus, it's really good lighting for my makeup. <laughs> um, and inside, you've got the two 110 outlets, so that's really nice because I can plug my curling line in, turn it off, and just leave it right in that cabinet. I don't have to have wires all over the place which I love, love. So then we have a cabinet in here that's super important. First of all, whenever you have a problem when you're traveling on the road, give National Indoor RV Centers a call. One of the most important things that you'll get when you have your delivery at National Indoor RV Centers is a phone number, a phone number, because <laughs> a lot of times we can help you over the phone. Something's not working. There are some quick fix fixes. So just make sure you keep that number handy and give us a call whenever you run into a problem. This is one of those problems I've had. I've called our technicians because something's not working in the coach. I'm thinking it's pretty major, like a slide. It's a fuse or it's a breaker and they can walk me right to it. I'll tell them what the problem is and they solve it super easy so we've got our breaker box in here we've got the breaker box for our driver slide out our passenger slide out our microwave refrigerator bed and basement uh, basically they're all labeled and then at Numar, one of the things that they've done for years that i totally love is they give us spare fuses so uh, i know for me i'd be looking all over for those spare fuses they're right inside the cabinet where you're going to need them and i love it so finally to the master bedroom it's so beautiful we have the big king size bed sleep number mattress and then lift that up check out all that storage below you can easily get your extra dinette chairs in here i've seen people store all kinds of stuff and it's really easy to get to very easy to lift you can really do it with one hand if you want then we've got cabinets we've got nightstands on both sides of the bed and cabinets below both right below the nightstands, you've got two 110 outlets and two USB ports. So it's really nice, you can charge all your devices, but even better, you don't have to have the devices. You don't have to have, well, you have to have the devices. You don't have to have the wires if you don't want to. So you've got the wireless charging pads on both nightstands. All you do is lay your phone over the round circle. And when the light goes to green, it means it's charging your phone. So I love that. Um, to be able to do that because I don't want to always have my um, phone with me and I've even got one of those little charger Mophie packs on here and it charges through that too. So pretty cool. Then we've got the storage above the bed here. So nice storage here. I typically will get some plastic containers that I can kind of slide in and out because this is deep and hard to get to otherwise but I love having the space. It might be where I store my winter clothes in the summer and vice versa summer clothes in the winter then we've got little um, access ports here on both sides of the bed so if you've got a CPAP machine you want to plug in here and send that cord through you can do that Numar's thought of everything there which is great and you've got the light panel underneath the bed so you can turn the lights on and off you know go to your systems panel generator on and off etc pretty much like the um, the other panels so that's nice. And then you've got the reading lights that you can turn on from that panel too. And those are directional. So you can point them in the right direction of wherever you're reading. Now to storage in the bedroom. We've got storage above the TV here. So we've got our AV cabinet with our Sony Blu-ray DVD player. And we've got our inputs for our satellite back there as well. Um, we also have a big cabinet here which you can even get in behind this panel. There's extra space. I like that. 
there is no divider between those so you can use all that space which is really nice now inside this cabinet you have to remember this is where your power awning switch is for this bedroom window so a lot of people will be like where is it they look all over the coach it's inside that cabinet so you can't put anything too important in front of it or just make it easy to move then we've got our nice big windows now this is an emergency egress window here and then we've got our solid sur surface countertop we've got our 43 inch samsung tv our bose sound bar and then right over here on the wall just wanted to point out that this is the slide out control for the bedroom slide so um, you've got the full wall slide right here and then the bedroom slide is controlled by this here light panel switch which turns on the lights and all the other things that i've been showing you throughout the coach now check out all the storage below we have six drawers I'm just going to go ahead and open a couple of them to show you the depth. But they're nice and deep. I've seen customers fold their t-shirts. There's a special way you can fold them and you can just stack them in there. You'd be amazed at how much you can get in those drawers. And then again, another favorite feature is that soft close. So you just tap them and they close up. Also, we have a 110 outlet two 110 outlets right behind the TV. And we have our third thermistor for the coach right here in the bedroom. We've got one more back in the master bathroom and let's head in, in there now. Now to the beautiful master bathroom. So when I first walk in here, I've got this cabinet. You have the Whirlpool washer and dryer. And on the Essex, you get the 220 volt dryer. So it's gonna dry your clothes just like they do at home. And then below your washing machine, you've got an extra little drawer. So I think that's nice. I always, I love any extra space I can get. You know that. <laughs> and check out the shower. <laughs> okay, 50 by 34. Um, it's huge. And a couple of things I wanna point out before I even go in there. First of all, we've got towel hook. Love that. Towel bar, towel bar. You can never have enough spaces for the towels, which I love. Another little thing I want to point out before I go and show you how big that shower is, is again, we get that cathedral ceiling in the rear bath models for Newmar. So we have that added height and it just makes it feel, you know, big, tall, padded vinyl ceilings. Then full tile shower. So really pretty accent in here. I love the flip down seat. And then there's a little spot where you can put your foot up there to shave your legs for the ladies. And then I want to also talk about the Aquaview shower miser. So this has been in a lot of Numar's line for quite a while. They've just added it to the luxury line. But what that is, is basically you're going to save water in your freshwater tank and you're not going to needlessly fill your gray water tank while you wait for the water to get to to get warm. So you're gonna just turn the lever. When this turns blue, that means the water has recycled and it's warm. So you go ahead and turn your water on. The first little spurt of water that's basically in the line here is gonna be cold because that didn't recirculate. Everything else is gonna be nice and warm. So saves um, saves water, saves energy. Anyway, it's, it's a great feature. Now, let me just point out some of these nice features in here. First of all, we've got the three dispensers for our shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. That's really nice. And then we've got the shower head here, which you can adjust that um, shower head, whichever way you'd like to. You've got the handheld wand, and we've got the shower assist handle, which I think is nice. That's an optional feature that's not very much money, and I think it's just a safety feature that's really nice. So, just huge, 50 by 34, huge shower. Now to the commode area, we've got the Dometic push button toilet. The controls are right here. We've got a little spot for our toilet paper and we have our thermistor. So that's our fourth thermistor for the coach. And then we've got our great um, emergency egress door. So these are super easy to work. They've even made it like kind of foolproof um, <laughs> because now they show me when it's unlocked and locked because I'm always trying to open a locked door. So unlock that. Just open up right there. This little panel just magnets on. It comes right off. Let's drop off. Easy as that. 
So check out the beautiful vanity that we have in the Essex. First of all, I love the bowl sinks. We have new residential faucets for 2021. Lots of storage, so look at that. And then we've got the drawers. Two nice full extension drawers. And we've got the two 110 outlets here. Now, this looks like it's a medicine cabinet. In the 4551, that just gives us access to the water lines in the back of the washing machine. But we do have a medicine cabinet here. And we've got another um, two 110 outlets inside that cabinet. Again, you can put your curling iron in there, turn it off, and leave it in there. Also love new for 2021. Look at the beautiful, the light that's in the mirror. It gives you really nice lighting back in the bathroom. And then you can see down here at the bottom, we've got the courtesy lights that you can turn those on at night just to get to the bathroom if you need to. And we've got the two towel bars, little hand towel bars. And we have another panel control. So we've got our lighting. We can do all of our lights here. Again, shades, fans, systems, monitor panel. You know, this is where you really are nice to know how much water you have before you go and take those showers how much room you've got in the gray tank and how much water you have in the fresh tank <laughs> super important beautiful mirrored doors on the essex and then we've got the lock for our closet doors it's at the top here i like it there it kind of recesses back in there you don't see it but it is kind of i do notice it when i come back here which i like because then i don't forget to lock the closet doors so then we open the doors we've got the cedar lined closet We've got one, two, three, four, five shelves, all adjustable. Then we've got our safe, which comes standard in the Essex. And we have the maximized shoe, recess shoe area, so you can store shoes there. You've got the full length wardrobe here. And then when I open the doors here, it's split. So I can maximize what I can get in that closet, which is key. <laughs> I get questioned all the time, what kind of walkway do I have in the coach when the slides are retracted? So I always try to show that. Again, this is the 4551. I can easily get into my pantry and extend my pantry doors. I can get to my king size bed and I could sleep on it without having to um, take out my slides. Have to crawl over a little bit, but I could do it. I can easily get into my half bath. That's why you have to love the pivot door because there's nothing that you have to like work around. I can also get into my refrigerator. I can open that up fully. So you could easily be cooking dinner here at the stove top, at the sink. You've got plenty of room. And then I really like the walk space that you have here between the recliners and the sofa. Another little trick I wanna show you too, when you have the recliners, is that you can turn that recliner just this one you've got the room but you can turn that and then open up that space even more all right finally time to go over everything up here in the cockpit let's go ahead and start with our captain seat so this is made by villa and we have the optional uh, massage feature on this so you can actually use that while you're going down the road. I don't know that that would be safe for me, <laughs> but it's really nice because this is also a recliner. Turn around in your family room and you can have a little massage while you sit and watch TV, so that's nice. Then we've got the controls here. So we can go forward and backwards, and then we can go a forward tilt and a backward tilt. I like that forward tilt, especially if you're a little bit vertically challenged. It will help you feel more comfortable with the um, pedal placement as you're getting comfortable in your driving position. Then we've got our recline button, so forward and back on your the back of the chair. And then this is the footrest. So when this chair is turned around in the living room, you can go ahead and use the footrest. So you really get four recliners because we've got the two recliners plus your captain co-captain's chairs that will do that as well so another thing that comes standard on the essex chairs are heated they're heated and cooled so you've got to love that we live in texas it's always hot so that's really nice to cool the chair down and then there's a lever over on your left side that you just lift up and that allows you to swivel the chair into the living room 
and you've got the button for your lumbar support. All right, so you've got the hydraulic leveling system and air leveling on the Essex. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to work the hydraulic leveling system. First of all, right now it's telling us that we're in travel mode and I have to have it in accessory or ignition mode for it to work. And then you're just gonna go ahead and hit auto level. You'll hear the air kind of start to rush out and it's gonna give you warnings. If it's an excessive slope and it's not gonna be able to level, it's gonna tell you that. So you may have to move the coach just a little bit and try again. If you've done that twice, if you've tried to level twice and it hasn't, you've not been able to get level and you wanna try a third time, you need to wait like 20 to 30 minutes just to give your pump a break because you don't wanna burn that up um, trying to level too many times in a row because you're taking them up and down, up and down, up and down. So once we're level, all four corners will be illuminated in red and then I can just turn the coach off and we're good to go. Then we've got our Allison transmission. So obviously we can go from reverse neutral to drive. Then we can select mode, economy mode. I go ahead and put that on there. I think it saves me a little, so every little bit helps. Then you can get your transmission health if you wanna press your plus and your minus at the same time. So oil level is invalid because we haven't been, I haven't been driving the coach yet, but keep pressing through. Oil life 99%, filters okay, trans health okay, no codes, yay, and back to economy mode. Now another thing that you can do with your plus and your minus is you can shift gears manually. So let's say you're trying to get up a steep mountain peak and you feel like you need a downshift to fifth gear. So you can go ahead and hit your arrow down. Just something that you ought to know that you can do with that shift up or down gears if needed. Then we've got our um, tag dump. So tag dump, you just wanna always keep that on auto unless you're in a um, precarious situation. Um, I was visiting with one of my customers last night, Tommy. Oh, I didn't say his name right. Um, but he told me that they had gotten into a situation where there was this kind of limestone rock when they pulled onto the rock underneath it was like a slick clay so they were like sliding in their coach super scary so they used the tack dump to get themselves out of a very slippery situation so that's a, an occasion where you may need that otherwise just always keep it in auto then we have our engine brake i always like to have my engine brake on especially when i'm driving something that's this heavy I want to have as much help when I go to put on the brakes as I as I can. Um, so I usually keep it on high. You'll feel it when you're driving. You'll have to kind of get used to it because as soon as you take your foot off the accelerator, the coach will start slowing down automatically for you. So it's just a safety thing. I want, I want as much help as I can. If I need to stop on a dime, I want to be able to do it as close as I can. Then we've got our cup holders too, and they've got their backlit, so that's nice. All right, so just below the cup holders, we have our auxiliary input and USB. So we can put the auxiliary in here, USB in here. And below that, we have two more USB ports. And then we've got this nice little storage area. That'd be a great place for maps. Do people still carry maps? I do. <laughs> maps or books or whatever. So that's nice to have that extra storage. The light switch. So this is the auto switch. This is off. These are your parking lights. These are your daytime running lights. And if you need your fog lights, you just pull this up and now you've got your fog lights. So that's kind of cool. Then we've got our bright and our dim. This is our marker lights and our bright lights. So if you need a flash thank you to a trucker when they've let you pass, um, or if you want to flash your brights just to let the trucker know that you can he can pull in front of you safely, you can do that there. These are your dome lights, so that's just directly above me. Give me a little reading light. And this is our intelligent high beam light. So basically, if you're driving at night, you can turn this on, have your high beams on. If a, another car comes, it senses that light, it will turn them off. So you can cancel it, because sometimes you may be driving and you don't want those high beams to come on, depending on if it's rainy or snowing, sometimes those high beams reflect more and, and it doesn't make it easier to drive. So you can cancel it altogether if you'd like. Then we've got our parking brake, pull to apply and push to release. And we've got the controls for our right and left external mirrors and the heat for the right and the left external mirrors. Now this right here 
is our, what's called a Kurt Spectrum control brake. So if you are towing a stacker trailer or a heavy trailer, you can adjust the intensity of the braking right here at the dash. So that's a nice feature that we've added in. It's an optional feature that you can add to your coach. Just right above that is one of my favorite features. You can see that green light. This is the cordless uh, charging pad. So I just lay my phone on there. As soon as I see that green light light up, I know that it's charging my phone and I, there's no cords or anything. Gotta love it. This is your auto traction control override. Then we've got the power window for the driver's window, tow window, which is really nice that's powered. Our air horn, I'm gonna always have my air horn on. I wanna have that, I want people to hear me if I need them to. And then we've got our house and chassis battery boost. The battery boost is super important. Say you left your coach or dry camping or whatever, you, you've left it for a while, you come back, you can't start um, the engine because your chassis batteries are dead. What you want to do is try to is tie the house and the chassis batteries together to see if you can get enough power to then start your generator, let your generator run for a little bit, and then start your engine. So you, this, this uh, button will become your friend. <laughs> so this is really cool. This comes standard on the Essex and I love it. These are your memory positions so it will um, go to the same telescope, tilt on the steering column, move your seat up, puts it right back to where you where you want it. So I love that because then you can, you know, change drivers and not have to worry about adjusting your seats because you just press your button. So super easy. All right, so down below here, my foot's pointing to that little green button there or plug actually. That's called the Deutsch plug. And that is where a technician at National Indoor RV Centers can plug into the engine and kind of uh, get the diagnostics, communicate with the engine through that plug. All right, so let's go over everything on our steering column here. They've added some nice buttons for us, so I'm excited to show you. First of all, back here we've got a silver lever, and if I pull that, that's my hazards. Now, I can't tell you how many RV shows I've been to where the hazards are on, because <laughs> someone's gotten up here and played with that, they don't know how to turn them off because you don't just push it back in. All you have to do is lift the turn signal up or down and it takes them off, takes them right off. And then on their turn signal, we have obviously left and right turn signal. We also have our cruise control, so we can turn that on from here and then we can set it and if we pull forward, we've got our high beams. We can flash our high beams. So when you're airing up your coach, if you want to make it go faster, you can put it into a high idle mode. So you're just going to go ahead and turn your cruise control on and then hit the set button. And you can see the RPMs raising, going up, and my little high idle indicator. Now, coming into the, the column here itself, we've got toggle controls over here to the side. So this is the volume control for the radio. And then we've got the tilt. So up and down. Again, you can set those to memory so it will go right back to where you like it. And then we have our Bluetooth capability here so I can pick up a phone call or hang up. Our windshield wipers. So this is just high, low, you just turn them you know, on and off and then you can uh, turn them off from here. This is where you can set your intermittent time to whatever you like. So you just hit that, count, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, turn it off, and then count, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, and so you can set your own interval. And then this is your windshield wiper fluid here. Then we have our horn, obviously. So I don't know who's in front of me right now. I'm not gonna scare an a innocent person, but I'll show you on the road. <laughs> and then we've got our information for our dash is all right here. But before I do that, there's toggle switches over here too. This is the telescoping switch to move that steering column forward or backwards. And then we've got the toggle for our pedals. So we can move the pedals forward or backwards. And I'm going to bring those all the way forward for me. All right, so these are the controls that give us all, that will go through all the information here on our dash. 
So we've got this nice glass dash up here that gives us information across the top, our fuel, temperature, oil, air, DEF. This in the center here is our Mobileye. So the Essex comes standard with Mobileye and it's basically your lane detection. So if you start to veer out of your lane without having your turn signal on, it's going to alert you um, audibly, visibly, and haptically in your seat. So that's a great feature. Um, let me walk you through the different information that we can get right here. So I'm gonna go to house. I'm gonna go to the top of my, okay, air leveling. So I'm gonna hit that, I talked about air leveling so you can do auto level more I'm gonna to go to more and we're gonna be at auto level so I auto level it's gonna show us right where we are if we're level we're not quite level right now you can see where the circles are off and it's actually trying to level us right now all right, so you can see that we're level right now. If I wanted to, I could go into manual mode. Say I wanted to raise the passenger side of the coach and lower the driver's side of the coach when I was dumping my coach to give it a better angle. I could do that easily right here. Settings, so this isn't a really important section here because we can go to, you have tire pressure monitoring system that comes standard. I'm gonna go in there you're gonna be able to see the tire pressure and temperature of all of your tires. Then you can also add a tow vehicle if you'd like. So you just have to hit, turn that to yes. Then you can select what you're towing. Is it a single axle? Is it a double axle, triple, or a tow car? And then you can go ahead and just exit out. Add it there super easily. Then you've got your sound, so you can adjust you know the alerts inside the coach how loud do you want those so 50 is good for me and then units this is going to be your speed do you want it in miles or kilometers temperature fahrenheit or celsius pressure psi or kpa so after units, this is super important that you know where this is and get comfortable finding it because you can adjust this while you're driving. So Comfort Drive. Comfort Drive is Numar's Computer Aided Driving Assist. So what that does basically, if you're driving, it's a super windy day, the coach, the computer is going to detect that and then adjust for you. So you're never gonna be fighting your steering wheel. Same thing if there's a camper to the road, it's gonna fill that and adjust. So it just makes it super easy to drive. And you can adjust, adjust what the tension feels like and how much help you're getting from Comfort Drive right here. So typically when I'm on a freeway, I like to have it all the way up. If I'm in a parking lot, then I'm gonna go ahead and take it you know, all the way down to two. And this steering will be so easy to turn, I can turn it with my pinky finger. So once you get it to where you want it to be, just hit okay and you lock it in. You've got your service information, you can set reminders for oil changes and stuff like that right in here. Your diagnostics, configuration, go back. All right, then we have our trip information. So we have trip A and we have trip B or trip A and trip B. <laughs> Now, if I want to reset my trip so I can start a new trip, I'm just gonna hit the OK button and hold. So, OK and hold, and it will reset trip B to zero. Then we have information, and there's just different information that it's going to scroll through here on this screen. Again, we can go to our tire pressure monitoring system so that we can see the tire pressure on all of our tires. And then this is where we can change our adaptive cruise control. So right now it's disabled. We are going to go ahead and we want, to, I want to have a short following distance. I'm going to hit enter and then back and we're good. So that's basically all the information you can get right there at your screen. All right, so we have the keyless start here, and I've got my keys fairly close. So 
I'm just going to, if I push it one time, it's going to light up here. I'm in accessory mode. So that's the mode I was in when I l used my hydraulic leveling, leveling jacks. If I want to go one step further and go to ignition mode, I press and hold again. And now I'm in ignition mode. You can see that my dash is going to light up, but my engine is still not on. Now if I want to start the coach, I'm going to go ahead and press the brake. Okay, now I can start it with the solid green. Okay, now we just have to make sure we are aired up, that I've gone through my checklist, unplugged, obviously part of my checklist, <laughs> and we're ready to hit the road. All right, so we've got our big screens here. We have the 360 camera, which I'll show you in a minute, that it's a new version. It's a new 360 camera this year with uh, increased visibility at night and just a crisper picture. You'll notice that when we're outside. Um, right now, we're gonna go to our menu button. We've got our radio, media center, XM radio, Bluetooth. That's where you can connect your phone, your mobile eye, your HDMI input, your auxiliary input, your camera control, iPod, nav system, and your settings. So let's go to a few. Here's our camera. So we can pick which view we're looking at. So there's my 360 view. Again, it's hard to see because I'm in the building at National Indoor RV Centers. You'll be able to get a better feeling for that once we're outside. Or I can just shoot down um, the passenger side of my coach or the driver's side of my coach or in front. It's really cool. And then you've got your different hitch views as well. All right, back to menu. And then we've got our nav system. So. Great, you've got the Rand McNally nav system. And your settings. This is where you can kind of customize your screen, brightness, beep tone, um, your standby screen, etc. All right, so your front fan has a high, off, and low. This is when you have your furnace on. You're using your heat from your Oasis and it's coming out underneath the, the dash here. So you have a high, off, and low button. This is your overhead fan, so you need to turn those on. And then you can select low, medium, or high. This is gonna help defrost your windshield um, when needed, so super important. Your docking lights, another light, super important. Um, courtesy lights. And then we can start and stop our generator from here and we can lock and unlock the door from here. We have our visor, so that's our driver's side visor, then our front visor. Visor, they're talking about here is your day shade and then this is your night shade, so your front night shade here. And then your driver's side, a window day shade. Okay, so here's your HVAC override. So basically this is going to, when this is on, the driver controls all the AC and heat. If I turn this off, then the passenger has their own controls and you can have the driver's controls and the passenger's controls. They can control their own climate, which is great because I'm always fighting my husband over, he's hot, I'm freezing. So I like this option. Then we've got our controls for our fans, for our AC and heat, our, we wanna recirculate the air, cold and hot, and then we can direct that air in whichever position we would like it. Then we've got two nice drawers. They close tightly so there's not gonna be any rattles. And it's just great to have a spot to put those miscellaneous items while you're traveling. Another favorite feature of mine is the power toll window. So it just doesn't get any better than that. All right, so here we are in the co-captain's chair, super comfy. Again, this is Villa furniture. We've got the same controls here as we had on the captain's chair. So the forward and back and up and down. And then obviously my favorite button because that's gonna you know let me recline and relax. And of course, we've got the massage feature on the co-captain's chair as well. Now, a really cool feature I told you about is the heat and cooled seats so there's three stages there's a high medium low and then it goes to off and so you can click those over here to turn those on and off then we've got our passenger monitor here so i can go ahead and go to my nav system here i can put in an address 
I can go to my cameras and change the view that I'm getting. So I really like that. That makes me feel more secure as a co-captain. I can see the same thing the driver's seeing and I can do all the navigating right here so that the driver doesn't need to. So I like that. Then we've got a few buttons below here. So this is our patio light. Tied to the patio light is that Numar badging in the front so that it will be backlit, which looks really fantastic. And you can have it either be like a white light or an amber light. And then we've got the visor here, which is my day shade. The step cover so that I don't fall on the stairwell. And then we've got our the ceiling light, I can turn on and off. So behind me, if I don't want all those lights on while we're traveling, I can turn those on and off from here. And then my map light, which is right above here. Now, great thing that I love, I just talked about, but I love that I have my own controls or that the co-captain has their own controls. So if I am freezing, I can turn on the heat, whatever, I can control that. Now I've got my cup holder here, backlit, so I'm not, I don't have to fumble around in the dark trying to find that. Again, our cordless charging pad. I love that. All you have to do is set your phone on here. Light will turn green. You know that you're charging. And then of course, Numar's little workstation here. So super easy to fold out. Got a spot for my drink, for my notepad, for my iPad, tablet, whatever. Just really handy. All right, so we're ready to take the Essex out for a test drive. Couple little things I want you to think about is when you go up to a turn, remember that your turning point is the center of that front axle if you've never driven a diesel coach before. Um, so you're gonna put your nose a lot further out there than you're comfortable at first, just so that you can make that turn. And then I'm gonna turn on my blinker. I can see down the full length of the side of my coach and I can watch myself clear that curb. You know I'm gonna be fine. And then I think the other thing that you, uh, that happens when you're first driving is you just don't feel like you're gonna fit in the lane. <laughs> Obviously you do. Um, you're gonna get used to, further you look down the road, you'll stay in that lane. And then you can watch in your mirrors, um, your bottom mirrors, you can see right where you are in that lane at all, at all times. Now something I like, I mentioned it when I was going through the dash, is that I keep my engine brake on high I want that to, as soon as I take my foot off the pedal, I'm at 60 miles per hour now, and I don't have my foot on the brake, I'm down to 40. I'm gonna have to like now accelerate because it would slow me down to a stop. So I like to have that extra help when I'm driving something that's this heavy. Um, if I need to stop, I wanna be able to stop quickly. So you're going to love the 360 camera. You can see all the cars that are going next to me and you're gonna to wanna to hug the left side of the lane that you're driving in. Just uh, everything bad happens on the right. And you can see I've got my mobile eyes engaged and on. It's showing me that I'm in my lane. So we're gonna go ahead and get on the freeway. Now this is actually a tollway to that point, we added the option for the universal toll module. What that is, there are over, or there's hundred at least 127 different tolling agencies across um, toll roads that scan about 5,000 miles. And there are only two, um, two areas of two different states where the universal toll module doesn't work, and that's over a 46 mile um, range. So. Basically, it almost covers the entire United States. You have one transponder, one account. You're not being billed by a whole bunch of different agencies and worrying that you're gonna get fees um, when you're not home to get those bills. Anyway, it's a great, it's a great feature um, option that you can get on your Numar, and we put it on our coaches. So, and it just sits right, you don't even see it. It's at the very top of the windshield inside the dash. So when I get up to speed, then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to set my cruise control. Um, the great thing about the Essex is you've got the collision mitigation system, the adaptive cruise control. So that's going to watch the following distance of the car in front of you. So once I set my cruise control, then you'll see the distance of the car in front of me. If someone's going um, slower than me, it's going to automatically slow me down. And um, anyway, just, you know, it makes driving these a breeze. 
Um, you're here to enjoy the scenery, get to your destination safely. You're gonna be able to do that in the Essex. Okay, I'm gonna get up to 60 miles per hour. I'm gonna turn my cruise control on. And I'm going to hit set. Now I can just sit back, relax, keep going straight. The nice thing about the Essex 2 is it does have the comfort drive. You can adjust that while you're driving. Um, it's one of the only things you can do on the information screen while you're driving is adjust that comfort drive. So, like I said, there's a pretty strong wind today. I'm not feeling it. I'm just keeping my coach in the lane, um, enjoying, enjoying the trip. At National Indoor RV Centers, we make it really easy um, to come in, see our coaches. Uh, you can specialize your coach if there's something that you want to do to make it unique. You can specialize the paint color so that you never have one that um, you know your Essex is, doesn't match the Essex sitting next to you at the campground. Um, we are here to help you any way we can. We do financing, we take in trades, consignments, um, and we have coaches in all different budgets. So if this one isn't in your budget, we'll help you find one that is. So come into National Indoor RV Centers, come take what you're looking for for a test drive. It's the only way to really know if it's a coach for you. All right, so let's talk about what we don't want to talk about, that it happens happens in a new car, happens in a coach. You get in a fender bender, or you get in a big fender bender. Uh, what do you do? So A, the first thing that you need to do is call National Indoor RV Centers. We will help you. We will be there, we will help you get assistance, we will help you get towed, and we'll work with your insurance company. But you want us fixing your coach. Um, we, I, I don't think there's anyone in the whole country that stores, services, more coaches um, in the nation. So you want the experts working on your coach so that you can get it back to pre-collision condition. So I always like to do my decibel reader when I'm driving a big coach so you can see how quiet they are. Um, I have the front dash AC on, the engine's running, and the decibel reader is at 66.5. So that's pretty impressive. Again, you won't know it until you come and try and drive it for yourself. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour of the 2021 Newmar Essex floor plan 4551. It's one of our most popular floor plans. I'm sure you're wondering how much this gorgeous coach costs. Well, MSRP is $851,018. And if you want to find out what I can sell it to you for, please give me a call at 469-277-1120 or you can go to our website, nirvc.com, or email me, Angie, at nirvc.com. Do you see the pattern? <laughs> but you can go to our website. If this isn't the perfect coach for you, we have a ton to choose from. And we do financing. We take in trades. We take in consignments. Basically, we do it all at National Indoor RV Centers. We try to make it super easy for our customers and a very pleasant experience. And remember this, with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less with National Indoor RV Centers. Now, I wanna make sure you go and check out my video on RV and 101 series, my retro brand video, our paint and body collision video, and our AIM Club. That's where our all-inclusive motorhome club, we get together with our customers and have a fabulous time. I'm telling you, it can't be beat. You'll learn more about your coach and about all these wonderful people, our, our customers, our family, in four days than um, you can imagine. So I again, I appreciate you watching this video. Please hit the like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.